focused by a desire for excellence and adventure. Bumps, wipeouts, and crashes, mud, dirt, and smashes, twisted metal and broken bones, high flying machines and daredevil stunts. Nothing will keep the champions and their machines from conquering the finish line. Dedication and desire, with the commitment to speed and excitement, make this ultimate motocross thrills.
If somebody's never seen it, it's like combining hockey, sprint cars, and football all in one. What do I like about it? It's fast. I like to see them crash. Speedway has one speed. It's all out.
riders in the world, the world of Supercross. There's number one, Johnson coming up on the line. Next to him, number seven, Holland. 15, Guy Cooper looking down the line. A tough lineup in this main event. And here's the start. There's Ward, number three. Here comes Cooper, there goes Johnson, and Johnson is forced out. Johnson goes all the way to the outside, and here's the battle for the lead. Number 44, Fred Andrews of Ohio, and 15, Cooper, and Johnson is trying to get back into the race. Holy Toledo, what an upset. The crowd on the edge of their seat here at the Coliseum. It is number 44, Fred Andrews in front. And there's number nine, Lachine, who was also in that, in that tangle. And Lachine will start out. He's back in 19th place. A tough break for Lachine and a tough break for Johnson. And suddenly it's anybody's ball game as out in front is Fred Andrews. And the question is, can Johnson or Lachine come back and even have a chance of winning this race? 20 laps through the mud, the blood, the beer here at the LA Coliseum. And Johnson is starting in 17th spot. Ricky Johnson has moved up to 15th. Ronnie Lachine in 18th spot. There's your leaders. Now going off the peristyle and down 80 feet to the floor. Number 44, Fred Andrews, Salem, Ohio. He has never led a race this big, this prestigious. And 15 right behind him is Cooper. Then in third spot is 47, Manley. And it looked like Bowen coming up also. But here is your leader, Fred Andrews, and Cooper behind him. And Cooper is riding like Charlie Manson. Look at this guy all over the track. Cooper is a wild rider. He's not a teenager. He's 24 years old out of Stillwater, Oklahoma, and he's going around. No! Andrews slams the screen to a right in his face. Here's Johnson, and Johnson is moving up. He's up to about 14th now. Here goes Cooper. He passes in midair, and Guy Cooper has taken the lead. Incredible. Guy Cooper, known for his aerial antics, puts it to good use and takes over the lead. Guy Cooper, number 15, Stillwater, Oklahoma, and he flies back onto the Coliseum floor in the lead. 15, Guy Cooper in front, and nobody expected this. Andrews in second. There's six, Bowen in third, 47, Manley. And there's number five, Diamond, and he is in fifth spot. There's Wardy, and Wardy is back in mid-pack. Wardy is in eighth right now, but it looks like he's moving up, riding very fast. Jeff Ward is going to have to move up. Now, Johnson is way, way back. He started in, in, uh, in 17th spot, actually, Johnson. And here's a pileup, and Diamond piles up there, and Lee's tries to go around, and Lee's goes into a hay bale. And Ward gets stuffed by Diamond. And there's your leader, Guy Cooper, with number 44, Andrews, who's second, and number six, Bowen, and third. And here comes Wardy trying to make his way into the top five. Wardy's trying to pass Jeff Stanton, and Stanton's right in front of him. Here they go up the peristyle. Jeff Ward has a side on Stanton. He's out of, uh, out of Michigan. A tough rider, and Wardy's trying to pull him, reel him in. And look at all the riders behind him. And this is the guy they're trying to catch. Number 15, privateer Guy Cooper of Stillwater, Oklahoma. 24 years old. This guy is wild. He's a crazy jumper, but right now he's leading the biggest race in the world. There comes Ward trying to move up. He is going around. It looks like he's got Stan and Stan goes right back in front of him. Now Ward goes in front of him. And Stan shuts him up, shuts the door. A beautiful move by Stan. But we're watching now number 15, Guy Cooper. Over the, the, the finish line jump, there's number 44 in second. That's still Fred Andrews, the Salem, Ohio rider on the private Honda. And meanwhile, it is still Jeff Ward trying to move up. There's he's trying to get around Stanton, and Stanton holds him off. There's Bowen, number six. And Manley is in fourth spot right behind Bowen. And there is Ricky Johnson coming out of nowhere. And Johnson has gone up to ninth from 17th. Unbelievable, unbelievable drive by Ricky Johnson. And there it is, Ward, Holland, and Lee. What a battle. And there's Brian Lunas saying, you can. Now, that's Ricky Johnson's mechanic. He says, you can 16 laps. When he's, and he's telling Ricky Johnson, you can go for it. You have 16 laps to win. A lot of people don't feel here in the Coliseum that Johnson can win. There's Cooper, your leader. Over the jumps. There's the difference between first and second spot. There's Wardy back away, still trying to move up. But it is Guy Cooper, number 15 in front, 44, Fred Andrews in second. Johnson, at this point, is about in sixth or seventh spot. There's number 15, Cooper. He's in front and pulling away the top riders in the world. And until this year, Ricky Ryan was the first privateer to win a Supercross in Daytona. And Guy Cooper might win it tonight in Los Angeles. Ward has passed in. Now Johnson tries the outside and takes over at least. Ricky Johnson, what an incredible battle. He's come from 17th spot all the way up now to, I believe, about fifth or sixth. David, where do you have Johnson at this point? I have got Johnson at sixth, and uh, Ward now has passed. Man, there he is. Ward is Johnson. in fourth, and there comes Johnson moving up. 
and Johnson is going after Ward. Unbelievable. Whoa, what a race. There's number 15, Cooper, in front. Excellent camera work going on through. There's Wardy, and Ward, I believe, at this point, is about in fourth. Jeff Ward, 26 years old. Ripe old age at 26, and been with Kawasaki 10 years. And there's Johnson behind him. So Ward is in fourth spot, Ricky Johnson in fifth, and here is a battle the crowd has waited to see. Holy Toledo. Cooper rips off a tear off as he goes over the finish line, tabletop jump. Here comes Johnson, the crowd getting behind him. They wanted to pass Ward over the tabletop jump. Ward is in fourth, and Johnson is in fifth. They're getting awfully close together, David Stanfield. We could see some tangling of handlebars real soon. They are bunching up on our third place rider. That is Keith Bowen. And remember, Fred Andrews, 44, still up there. They're a new pair of style. It's uh, Ward holding on in fourth spot. Johnson right next to him. Look out! Whoa! And they tangle handlebars! Look out! Johnson almost goes down. He tangles handlebars with Ward. And Ward is not somebody you can trifle with. He's strong. He's only about five foot six, but he's about as wide as a, as a piano in the shoulders, and you don't knock him down. Johnson trying to go around Ward, and Ward shut the door on him. Look at the drive RJ has on the back freeway. They're coming out of that mechanics turn, and then he loses a little bit over that kind of sand trap there into the S as he bobbles. Jeff Ward and Johnson tangled at the top of the peristyle. You could barely see it in the, in the darkness. And War, Johnson almost went down and recovered. And there goes Johnson. He's going around Ward. And he's got it. Unbelievable. Johnson has gone into four. And there is Lunas. He is trying to figure out where Johnson is in the track. He can hear the crowd cheering. And there he goes past Bowen. And Johnson has gone to third. An unbelievable display of sheer determination. You crash, you're in 17th, you get up, and he's gone from 17th to third, and Johnson is trying to pass Andrews, going up the uphill. Cooper does not know David Stanfield what's going on behind him. He can hear the crowd, the crowd is going crazy. His wife on the pit board saying, go, 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 and everywhere Johnson is riding on the track, they are doing the wave, yelling for him. Oh, unbelievable. He is stalking number 44, Brent Andrews, for second spot. There is Luna still, still watching Johnson. He can't believe this. There's your second place rider, number 44, a privateer. And there's number one Johnson, the hottest rider in the world. And he's gonna go around Andrews. He's gonna try. He's got it. Andrews, Andrews just, just backed off. And now he's trying to go back after Johnson. And Bowen is right behind Andrews. And now Johnson has gone from 17th to second. And he's going after Guy Cooper. David Stanfield, I don't believe this race. A possibly an insurmountable lead. Guy Cooper is so far out in front. But the problem with Guy Cooper, as with Ricky Johnson, they're approaching slower traffic. Ricky Johnson has gone from 17th to second, going through lap riders like Sherman through Georgia. Look at the, the corner workers in the crowd on the field getting behind Johnson. They want him to win. Luna's probably telling the other mechanic, David, to tell the slower Honda riders to get over and let Johnson come by. Guy Cooper on the front stretch. And RJ is making his move. Actually, a little past halfway at this point, but it is Johnson's, Johnson's ball game now. He's got to catch Cooper, but he's, he's in control and gaining on the Stillwater Oklahoma native. There's Cooper. And Johnson is back. Lap riders around him, both sides. That's when it can be dangerous. According to my stopwatch, less than three seconds a lap. Ricky Johnson is gaining on uh, Guy Cooper less than three seconds a lap, which means by lap number... Uh, the last lap, possibly, he could be within striking distance. Unbelievable. If Johnson pulls this off, it will be the most incredible comeback I've ever seen in, in 17 years of calling Supercross. Jeff Ward moving into third. That's right. Ward has gone into third, and now it is, it is Cooper, then Johnson, then Ward. And we could see a battle between Ward and Johnson toward the later stages of this race. There is Cooper. There's Cooper. And we should see Johnson behind him, and that's you just saw a, a, a look at Johnson's helmet. There's Johnson going up the finish line jump now. Guy Cooper, the ride of his life. No question about that. If he can hold off Johnson, it will be a miracle. Here's Johnson on the downhill. Oh, and the Honda mechanics are waving on Ricky. There went Cooper, and there goes Johnson. That's how close they are, David Stanfield. He can reel him in now. He can pinpoint him. He can actually see him. Ricky Johnson, he is burning to win this race. In a blaze of glory, there is Cooper in front, and Johnson smells blood. He sees the young Oklahomian in front of him, and he is going after him. Guy Cooper, number 15, he's your leader. A surprise, he's led almost the entire race here at the Coliseum on a warm summer evening. And there's Johnson, number one, in second. And Johnson is going after Cooper, and there they are. That's Cooper in front, and Johnson behind him as he goes up the uphill. What a battle! Johnson is stalking him all over the track. Look at this, a, a bike link in front, and Johnson is looking for a place to pass. Cooper is riding over his head, David Stanfield. He is taking chances. He's got to to stay in front of Johnson. 
This is incredible. RJ is going to try every trick in the book and watch this. The crowd is going absolutely insane. Unbelievable. Johnson has gone from 17th to second, and he is one bike length away from taking the victory. He's got him. John, no. Cooper takes it back. Johnson trying to go around the outside, and Cooper said, no, you're not going by. You will not pass. And he slammed the door in Johnson's face, and Johnson is mad. He wants Cooper. RJ got a wheel in. Cooper said, no way. Shut the door. Unbelievable, unbelievable racing action. The crowd going crazy. Johnson now trying it again. Johnson's got him. Johnson has got Cooper. Now, incredible drive coming out of the woods. RJ, his weight over the back rear tire. Incredible floating sensation over the belt. And he just had to drive over the belt. I have never seen a race like this. You've got a rider who crashed in the first lap. He started 17th out of 21 riders. And he has taken the lead. And the crowd can't believe it. Did you see that sign from Lunas? Less than two laps to go. Zero lead, meaning no seconds. You've got Guy Cooper right on your tail. No mistakes for Johnson, but let me tell you, he's had to pass 16 guys, and he has got mud on his goggles. He, he doesn't have clear vision. That could be a problem in the last few moments. Johnson looks a little wobbly here, and also he's probably incredibly tired. He's in good physical shape. There's Machine way back, who was never a factor in the main event. White flag. The white flag comes out, and Johnson's got a lap. If he can hold on for one more lap, David Stanfield, he's got the victory. And Cooper is determined to try to pull off the upset of the century. Look at this. Unbelievable. No mistakes. They're concentrated on no mistakes right now. They can't make a mistake. If Johnson makes a mistake, Cooper will take him. This is the final lap. The final few turns. Can Johnson do it? Can he come? I don't think anybody has ever come from 17. He is having problems with his goggles. You can, you can see him paw the tear off. He's having problems. Vision problems. He got roosted a couple times. He's got rocks and dirt on the There it goes again. Yeah. And he is bobbing. That slowed him up quite a bit. Here comes Cooper.